was good YouTube. It's your girl Queen Kamara. We don't care on that yet. So today I'm gonna be telling y'all why I haven't been posting or and why I haven't been consistent like consistent on YouTube. Well I'm just gonna be completely honest with y'all because y'all are like my family. Y'all are queen squad. Or, yeah, y'all queen squad. Y'all queen baby. So, like, y'all are like my family. So, I'm not going to hide anything from y'all. So, basically, why I haven't been posting is because... It's because my dad, he... I'm going to figure out a way to put this without breaking down again because I broke down before I did this video, but my dad, he is not here anymore. He... basically dead he died I mean when let me just tell you how I found out basically so right I was um it was his normal day his normal day on June 6th it was the 6th I was happy that day. I woke up in a good mood. And, like, I woke up in a good mood. And, you know, I was really happy that day. And I just, like, I got up. I took a bath. I put on my clothes. I... I ate breakfast, and then I took a nap, and then I woke back up. And then my mom, she went to the doctor. She had to go to the doctor for, like, a checkup thing. Like, you know how you go to the doctor, and you got to get, like, checkups, make sure you're, you're healthy. So I went with her, and... We was going up the elevator, and I was just telling my mom. And I was just telling my mom in the elevator that I think I want to reach out to my brother on my dad's side. Reach back out to him. And just, you know, have a relationship with him because my dad left me. Like, he abandoned me. This is like. Before I found out, he died. And so I was I was telling my mom that I think I should have a relationship. That I, I want to try to have a relationship with my brother. Because, you know, I don't have a relationship with my father. So that's the closest I can get to my father is my brother. So why not have a relationship with my brother? And so that day I was finna... I was going to, as soon as we got up to the office thing, my mom, she went back there. But I told her I'm going to stay outside the office and um, and just chill in the lobby area and wait on her. And I, did, I was finna text my brother until he texted me on Instagram. And then he was like, it was like, I need to tell you something. It's very important. And then I was like, um, I can't talk right now uh, just because I didn't want to talk too loud in the lobby area. So I was like, I can't talk right now. Just uh, just, uh, just text me. And then he was like, um, he was like, uh, call me. Call me ASAP. Call me. And he sent his number. I guess his new number or something. So, I had a... My eye is burning. But, I had...
typed in his number, and I wish it all type of things were going through my head. What happened? What's going on? It's like before I even press call, as soon as I typed in his number, I copied his number and I pasted the number into the call log thing. Before I pressed call, I was having all type of thoughts. Like, all type of thoughts. Like, is he okay? Did something happen? Um, did my dad um, go back to the hospital again for his lungs? I mean, um, and then so after a while, I eventually, like after two minutes of just sitting there thinking, what, what is the reason why he needs to call me on the phone? You know what I'm saying? It's not like I don't want to talk to him. It's just like when someone, think about it, when someone tells you that they need to talk to you ASAP, it just make you think something is wrong. So I called him, and then he had picked up, and I said, I was like, hey, you told me to call you ASAP. And then he was like, um, girl, he said, this is, this is his exact words. He said, there's no easy way to tell you this, but dad is no longer here. And now I was like, what do you mean? He's no longer here. And then he was like, he was like, he's gone. He passed away. And I was like, I just, and I went into my room and she said, he's gone. My mom, she walked out of that office. I don't know, cause she, I guess it was, it was like, she already had did her checkup and stuff, but she walked out of that office. And I just, as soon as I just, like, I was in shock. I was like, I was like, I was in shock. I was like, I asked him, I was like, what happened? And then he was like, he was like, he was at work and this happened to him. I'm not going to tell y'all what really happened to him because y'all know y'all, y'all kids. Uh, I'm a kid too, but it's like, uh, to be honest, I really didn't know what it was until I looked it up. Well, I knew what it was, but not all the way knew. You know how you know something, what something is, but not really, really know what it is. And he told me, and then I was like, no, no, I just, I knew he was closer. She, he was kind of close to my dad. So I just forgot all about me. And I was like, are you okay? I told him, let me know. Um, let me know if you let me know if you need to talk or whatever. And then he was like, um, he was like, the funeral should be soon. And he was like, I'll keep you updated about the funeral. And then because he he was basically saying that I really need to go to the funeral, even though. I didn't have a good relationship with him. I still felt like I needed to go. But, so, basically, I just broke down as soon as I was walking back to the elevators. I just literally broke down crying. It was like, it was, it's like, it's a horrible feeling when you found out, when you find out your parent is gone. And even though he wasn't really apparent to me because he wasn't really there, but it's like he was still my dad. And so basically, I just broke down crying. I was, I just told my mom we was planning to go out to eat that day. And I just told her, I was like, we gotta go home. I'm sorry. We gotta go. 
I, I can't, I can't be in public. No. And as soon as we pulled up to the house, I ran to the house, I ran to the front door, I unlocked the door, and I just jumped in my bed and just started crying and crying even more. And then I just, I stayed in my bed the rest of the day. As soon as we got home, it was like 1.30 when we got home or something like that. And it was like, it was like, I did not want to leave out of my bed. And every time I would go to sleep, I would imagine how, how it happened to him. It's just like every time I would close my eyes, it would be like a dream of what happened to him. And it was like, I just kept waking up. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was depressed for days. And it's not like I have like a depression, depression issue or something. It's just like my parents had just died. I didn't have a good relationship with them. And I always thought that, you know, they would change. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I get older, he would change into being a good parent and a good person. I just always thought he would change and come back and stuff like that. And then... And then it's like he motivated me to keep going. You know what I'm saying? He literally like motivated me to keep going. Don't stop. It's like because he always motivated me to keep going because he wasn't there. So it's like with him not being there, it just pushed me to go harder and harder. And now it's like, it's like, it's like I lost. Because I always thought that, like, he would come back and be a good parent, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what I was thinking. And, like, it's like every morning when I was four, I mean, when I was first born, he wasn't there because he was at work. But it's like he had even signed my birth certificate when I was like two weeks or something. He had, he had signed it. And then he every morning, if he didn't, if, if he wasn't with me every morning, he would call me and say, good morning, baby girl. He always called me his baby girl, his princess. So he always said, good morning, baby girl. He always would call my mom and hand me the phone. And he would say, good morning. He would take me and my brother that's on my mom's side, because he treated my, my, my brother on my mom's side like that was his kid. And he had took us to Chuck E. Cheese. I used to love Chuck E. Cheese so much. And now every time I see Chuck E. Cheese, I just remember me of those times. And like, he would come to every birthday until I was four. And he would even bring, he would come to every birthday till I was four. And he would even bring my older brother on my dad's side. And he would even bring him to my birthday. Sometimes he couldn't get my older brother. But sometimes he couldn't get my older brother, but he would bring them to most of my birthday parties. And I would take pictures with my dad and stuff. And he used to, every time I was at the park for my brother baseball or basketball or football team, my dad would show up and support. He'd hold me, call me his baby girl. It's just like, it really hurt me, and um, after a few days, I was still depressed. But I, I had 
went to his funeral, and his funeral hurt me even more. They had a, a closed casket, so no one could see the body. But when I pulled up to the place, I was I broke down crying. So we stayed in a car for a little bit. Me, my mom, my brother, and my grandma. We had stayed in the car for a while, and then we had eventually went in. And then what hurt me is. They literally said, they, um, when I came in, nobody really knew who I was. Because, you know, I didn't see anything. But, basically, they said, during, they said, nobody talks. Nobody talks during the funeral unless you're on the obituary. Unless, unless you're called. To uh, speak at the funeral, and then when they was reading the obituary, it's like the obituary is like their life story. When they was reading the obituary, it really hurt me. But when I was reading the obituary, I had closed my eyes, and I and I was it felt like I had a I was imagining. I mean, not imagining. I was seeing when he would come to my dance recitals and my gymnastics he would come to my dance recitals he was there at this dance recital a performance i had did he would always show up to most of my stuff when i was four and when i read the obituary i could tell it wasn't right the obituary wasn't right 